Welcome to the homework for Lesson 17, course Grade 1, Module 1. Get your name in there first and uh, take care of that before you go on to do anything else because you won't remember to do it later. Uh, we've got the directions for this one. They're a little tricky. Uh, so uh, once you see me do the first one, you, you, it'll probably make it'll probably make sense. Uh, the, the little example they give you here is kind of a little tricky because it looks like they're matching up two halves of a domino to be equal, but they're, that's not it. It's the whole domino, this whole domino equaling this whole domino. Usually when we play dominoes, we're trying to match halves, right? We're trying to match this half to that half or one half to another half, but th that's not how we're matching these. And just to show you, here's what I'm, here's, I'll do the first one for an example, and then you can try the others. Uh, this first one here, and you don't have to write these numbers down, but I'm going to do it because I think it's going to make it easier. There's three dots here, so I'm going to write a three, and then this right here, that's six, right, because it's five and one more. So that's six, and six and three together, that's a nine. So now, now that I found out this that domino A is a nine, I have to find out which one. I have to find out which of these other dominoes, this one, this one, or this one, which one of these also adds up to nine. So I'm looking at these. I can see which one it is already. Maybe you can too. Because this right here is a 10 frame with one missing, and that's a 9. So that's 9 and 0, right? So there's a 9 right there. So we know that these two dominoes are going to match up because they both total 9. And this is what I'm going to do right here. So now I'm going to write, um, this is, <clears throat> I'm going to write two equal math expressions, one for each domino. The first one is going to be this one from domino A, right? It's got a 6 and a 3, so I'm going to write 6 plus 3, because that's that domino. And it has 9, right? So it's going to be equal to the other one, which also has 9. But this one doesn't have 6 plus 3. This one has 9 plus 0. 9, because one half has 9, and the other half has 0. So the 6 plus 3 that equals 9, and the 9 plus 0 equals 9. So it means they both equal 9, so they're equal. They're both the same. Uh, now you might want to try, uh, pause the video, and see if you can get the other ones. All right, and now I'm going to erase, I'm going to clean up some of these arrows here, and I'm going to go on to do domino B. A domino B has a 4 and a 4. All right, so it's going to start out with 4 plus 4. And if you've been practicing with your with your flashcards, then you know 4 plus 4, that's a double. That's 8. So we need another one that's going to be 8. And let's look at the one that's right next to it. If I look at this one here, the one right next to it, I see one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That one's five plus five. That's e that's the one that's going to equal ten. And that so it's not going to be equal. So I'm going to try the other one, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. So these two here are equal. And we already figured out domino B. This one is four plus four, so it's going to be equal to this domino up here, the other domino we just connected it to, it's 5 on this half plus 3 on this half, so it's 5 plus 3. 5 plus 3. 4 plus 4 equals 8, and 5 plus 3 equals 8, and 8 is the same as 8, so they're both equal. They have the same number of dots. And then we're looking at domino C right down here. And that's going to be, we see there's only one domino left to match it to. It's this one. And let's just count to make sure that, that they do match up. So this is, this is a 6 right here. That's a 6. 
And this one here is a 4. 6 plus 4, that's 10. That's one of the ways to make 10. And this here is, we already figured out that was a 5 and a 5, because we already counted those. Uh, so, and that's 10. So we have 6 plus 4. That's 10. And the other domino is 5 plus 5. And that also equals 10. You don't have to write these little 10s underneath. But I just like to do that to show that they're to show that they're equal so I can keep track of everything. And that's the first that's the first half of the page. Now the next one is number two, find the expressions that are equal. So here we have these are all these are the expressions. Five plus two is an expression. It's not a number sentence. It doesn't have an equal sign. It's not an equation. It doesn't have an equal sign. It's only an expression. So there we have 5 plus 2 is one of them. 8 plus 2 is another expression. 4 plus 3 is an expression. And 7 plus 3 is an expression. So we have to find some of these are going to be equal to each other. And we're going to match them up here for A and B. So what I want to do is just, just solve these so I can look at the so I can look at the totals and find which totals match. 5 plus 2 is 7. 8 plus 2, that's one of the ways to make 10. That's a really important one to remember. And then we have 4 plus 3, 7. And 7 plus 3, that one's 10. And now you can look at the hearts, and you can see which ones. We have two 7s, and we have two 10s, right? So we have to write down the expressions for the hearts that match. So we have the first heart here. That one's 5 plus 2. And it's equal to the other heart that has a total of 7, which is this guy here, the 4 plus 3 heart. That one matches 4 plus 3. And the other two, we see the 8 plus 2. That's one of the 10s. And then the other 10 is the 7 plus 3. You know, since the 8 plus 2 equals 10, and the 7 plus 3 expression also equals 10, then the two expressions are equal to each other. And we can write it just like that. Now I'd like to explain this a little bit more, because we're used to seeing we're used to seeing equations that look like this, where we have an expression on one side, we have an equal sign, and then we have a total like that. But now we're seeing another plus sign and another number. So the way you really should be looking at this is not the usual 8 plus 2 equals 10. And then we have a plus 0, and I don't know what that means, so I just won't even look at it. I won't look at it, and I'll just pretend it's not there because it doesn't make sense. But that's not really how it works. What we want to do is think of how this side of the equal sign, I'm just going to call this, it's really an expression, but I'm going to say it's stuff. And then on the other side of the equal sign, we have other stuff. So it's not just that there's a number that comes after the equal sign. It's just, it's whatever the stuff is that's on the left has to equal, has to be the same as the stuff that's on the right of the equal sign. So it's really about that. And some we're really used to just having a number over here on one of the sides, uh, but that's, that's how really we should be looking at these, is that we have an expression, this whole expression equals 10, and this whole expression on the right, 10 plus 0, also equals 10, so the two expressions are equal to each other. So uh, be careful about it. It's really tricky to get used to in the beginning, uh, but we'll practice it some more. This won't be your last chance to, for it to make sense.